Hi, I'm Marie France, and I'm working on behalf of Canary, and I'm speaking with Mathieu Lemay. Please tell me what the Green Star Network is. Okay, the Green Star Network um, is an, a pilot initiative to build a zero carbon network um, using techno cloud technologies. So uh, we have renewable energy sites that are used to uh, enable people to uh, have uh, uh, IT infrastructure hosted on. Where is the work being done? Uh, the work uh, is primarily being done uh, across Canada with uh, ETS, Ecole de Technologies Payard, being the lead um, organization. So, uh, And we also have international partners, both in Europe and uh, the US. Uh, how long is the project and how far along are you in it? Okay, the project is a two-year project, uh, and we're about one-third uh, uh, in in the projects right now, um, we have uh, we have an operational network, and we're working on the middleware and more advanced intelligence aspect of the pro project. And your partners are uh, the partners uh, from east to west are Rackforce. Uh, then you have uh, CRC in Ottawa, uh, ETS um, in Montreal, as well as uh, UQAM. Um, and then you have in the west uh, Cybera uh, and. Uh, uh, GRC, Grid Research Center in Calgary, uh, and finally Rackforce uh, in, uh, out uh, in uh, Kelowna, Vancouver. So is this a similar concept to the smart grid being developed by the power industry? It's actually quite uh, the opposite uh, equation. We we're actually um, turning things around because the smart grid aims at moving the energy and managing the transport of the energy. What we're saying is that it's easier to move data to these renewable energy sites. So it's, uh, it's turning the equation upside out and moving the information to these uh, different uh, sites. How will this make a difference? Uh, by having this uh, located at the, the renewable energy sites, we hope to lower the uh, old carbon footprint of the IT industry and also make sure that uh, uh, the, the IT is more accessible to, uh, to, to people. How much carbon does the IT industry use compared to other sectors? Uh, the uh, IT industry is about 2% of the old uh, GHG emissions, so that's comparable to the aviation industry uh, right now. And it's, the, the problem is it's increasing every year uh, dr tremendously because of the huge energy consumption done by the IT equipment. What will it take to move from demonstration level to full-scale adoption? Okay, to uh, to move from this uh, initial pilot down to full-scale adoption, uh, you need to settle down all the economics of uh, of the system and also uh, harden the whole uh, middleware aspect for more production-grade uh, environments. Uh, you also need to have more users of that cloud and these cloud technologies um, to to have push that to uh, to a next. Uh, Finally, what's the next level in the project? Um, the next level is to basically uh, undertake the um, uh, some of the commercialization aspects, start offering, introduce, in, introducing new services in this environment as we go from virtual machines to virtual routers and other infrastructure pieces.